night gang night fam squad deep what's good guys thank you and welcome back to my channel again if you're new to my channel hi my name is rita aka pro light welcome if this is your first time if you want to join my fam my squad deep go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and click the bell next to it so you get notified every time i post a new video let's get into this guys so <sighs> I feel like purity is such a touchy subject because it touches on um, an area where a lot of people want to do what they want. I want to dress how I want to dress, I want to talk how I want to talk, I want to think how I want to think and don't encroach on my rights, you know what I mean? So let me get into how I, how I grew in my journey of purity. So before I got saved, I was that girl. I used to wear really short shorts, you know what I mean, really tight stuff, revealing, because my body was banging, period, <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, I had a really nice body and I wanted to show it off, you know, even though it wasn't like a conscious, conscious thing where I'd get dressed and I'm like, yes, booty's hanging out a little bit on my shorts, uh, my abs are showing, it's, I'm ready to go you know no it wasn't that it was more of a subconscious thing where it's like I got gratification from people's comments from looks from guys you know what I mean that kind of stuff so fast forward I get saved and obviously I'm still still dressing the same because some things um, after you get saved it's not an immediate thing you know what I mean the Holy Spirit works that thing in and out of you you know um, as you draw nearer to God as your desires start to align with the desires of God as your life starts to align with the word of God that kind of thing so I remember one time I was getting dressed and I just sensed in my spirit holy like the Holy Spirit was like no Rita um, <laughs> like you can't wear that you know what I mean and I think for me initially it was difficult because I was so used to that you know and at first I was kind of resistant to the Holy Spirit like okay why like I'm, it's not a big deal it's just shorts you know what I mean or it's just whatever it was at that time and I realized that the Holy Spirit was showing me my heart you know that a lot of my identity was in my body was in the way that I dressed was in the attention I received from how I looked the Holy Spirit just you know came for me like <laughs> um, but at the same time he was very gentle you know what I mean and he would um, continue to bring it up but not in a forceful manner where it's like I have to stop dressing it was immediately you know he worked it in and through me to a point where I understood that okay a lot of my identity is in the way that I look physically um, I get a lot of gratification from how I dress and the attention that I get from that and that he basically showed me that my identity comes from Christ you know what I mean knowing who I am in Christ knowing that I'm redeemed that I'm chosen that I'm loved by him you know what I mean that I was fearfully and wonderfully created by him and the way that I adorn my body again um, the scripture your body your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit you know the way that I dress should honor God you know there's a scripture where it says whether you eat or you drink um, do it as unto God or do it to the glory of God so for me it became a journey of a thing of okay when I get dressed I ask the Holy Spirit I'm like okay Holy Spirit is this honoring to God the way that I'm dressed sometimes it would be a yes sometimes it would be a no sometimes I'd be obedient sometimes I'd be disobedient you know until I just got to the point where it's like okay <laughs> Rita are you gonna be obedient or do witchcraft which is disobedience it's in the bible so i just got to that point where i was like okay god again i love you lord i want to honor you with my body as much as i want the attention for dressing a certain way more than that i want to honor you you know and i realized that for me my purity um with regards to how i dress i wanted to honor god in that way um, so I did start dressing differently. I did start to forego certain things that were in trend, you know what I mean? That were cool, that were hot at the moment. Um, but for me, it was the thing of, okay, God, I love you more. I want you more, you know what I mean? Um, I want to honor you more than I want to look hot. So that was the thing. That was where it came from because the issue was my heart, not necessarily the clothes that I was wearing. Um, a lot of the time, like, our sin 
or our outward expression of our heart um, is from our heart you know what i mean the bible talks about the heart that guard your heart because um from it's, it flows the the issues of life the spirit had to deal with my heart and that once he dealt with my heart it reflected in my outward appearance you know what i mean so for me it just became a thing of okay if this doesn't honor you if the way that i'm dressed doesn't honor you um then i would rather change the way that i dress and i started to find my own um style the way that i can dress in stuff that is current stuff that is hot but in a way where i'm still honoring god you know not in a way where i'm conforming to the ways of the world i'm dressing like they dress and i'm carrying myself in the way that the world carries itself if that makes sense and another thing for me with my purity um, the holy spirit also showed me that you know i mentioned a scripture where i was like um if you look on someone with lust then you've already committed adultery with them in your heart for me i got to a point where i was like okay god i don't want to like obviously people lust in their hearts for whatever reason like a woman could be wearing a full i think it's muslim the whole garb you know what i mean the hijab and the whole dress um garment and someone could last after them you know but for me personally i was like okay god i don't want to cause my brothers to stumble because of how i'm dressed you know and i think for for some of you you might be like whoa that's on them you know what i mean that's on them but for me it became a thing of okay god i don't want to aid in them stumbling you know what i mean i don't want to aid in someone lasting after me when in your word you've said that if they last after anyone then they've committed adultery, adultery in their heart and again this comes from a thing of um growing closer to god you know what i mean growing in my knowledge of the scripture growing in my knowledge of who god is and god's heart for us you know what i mean so even that i remember when i was dating isaac and he wasn't really like super into like um how women dresses obviously like there are certain things where it's like okay that's out of the question you know what i mean but um for him he would have been cool with me dressing however but especially in my relationship with him when we were dating knowing that we're not having sex we're not physically active with one another i wanted to protect him even more you know what i mean in the way that i dress because i knew my body was banging you know what i mean like if i just wore crop top and a high-waisted jean and a city tight thing and you know um i'd be banging you know lord help any pride in my heart right now but you know what i mean even for him my heart was to protect him you know what i mean my heart was to um ease the load you know what i mean of um the boundaries that we had in our relationship in the way that i dressed you know not to make him last after me or not to make him um desire me even more even though he couldn't have me in our relationship but only in marriage that's basically how i journeyed in my purity and again you know another thing is spiritual maturity you know what i mean and your um level of or your heart towards repentance right repentance just means changing direction or changing your mind about something right so for me like with regards to the purity thing i feel like i was watching a sermon yesterday and um it was by tony evans and he was basically like your level of intimacy will determine your level of capacity right like god won't give you more of god than you can handle or you can contain or um yeah capacity so for me even with regards to purity you know what i mean each of us are at a different place spiritually right in our spiritual maturity and i feel like your intimacy will also determine your capacity in terms of your purity or in terms of your spiritual growth like the more intimate you grow with god there are certain things that he will call you to like a higher level of purity or a higher level of discipline or holiness whatever it might be that he'll call you to because he's in an intimate relationship with you because he speaks to you daily because you come you commune with him daily um and i feel like um a lot of the time there are certain things that we are still um being disobedient about or we are um 
committing certain sins or living in certain sins because of a lack of intimacy with God, because of a lack of and when you're intimate with someone, you're open to their correction, you're open to their discipline, you know what I mean? You're open to them correcting you or um, obviously correcting you in love, which is what God does. So I feel like our level of um, maturity in Christ is also dependent on our intimacy with Christ. Do we allow the Holy Spirit to correct us? Do we obey him when he corrects us? You know, that kind of stuff. So I feel like spiritual intimacy is a huge thing when it comes to having a repentant heart, um, being willing to hear what the Holy Spirit has to say, being willing to obey his correction or obey the direction in which he's asking you or he is commanding you to go in so that's just something i wanted to add as well for like a lot of the time we're like oh no guys yo that so and so is deep like i wanna be on their level but there's nothing special about so and so the same spirit that's in you is in this is the same spirit that's in so and so you know what i mean but the difference between the two of you is the intimacy that you have with god how willing you are to allow god to change you to mold you into who he created you to actually be and not who you think you should be um yeah Thanks so much for watching this video guys i hope you're encouraged i hope um that yeah this encourages you to seek god about your purity and again um a lot of the time people begin to idolize their purity you know what i mean whether it's their sexual purity or their mental purity because that's another issue you know you can be abstaining from sex but watching pornography having lustful thoughts you know um i pray that this video would encourage you to seek God about purity, you know what I mean? Seek God's heart regarding purity. Seek God's word regarding purity. And yeah, that you'd be encouraged to, um, if you fell off your purity um, or honoring God through your body, you can get back on that train, you know what I mean? If you are starting your walk with Christ and you don't really know what that's about, I really encourage you to get into the word about it, pray about it, seek God about it. Um, and I hope this video helped you with regards to that. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye.